been a few since the last video and this one I am trying the pepper in a can challenge again. I've got a couple varieties here that I'll be doing. This is for the pepper obsession Facebook group and we're doing Kang Star Lemon Starburst. So I've got that can all ready to go. And we're also doing the Death Spiral. That's the last one I have to do. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that will be doing this, but I'll be doing both the Lemon Starburst and the Death Spiral in the same can. So that will definitely be producing some hybrids. We'll try to do a uh, Lemon Starburst fertilized with a Death Spiral and a death spiral fertilized with a lemon starburst and see what results. So there's those. I'm also doing a, this is mostly for my, my use, Phileas Blue. So here's what I'm doing. I've got the drainage holes poked in the bottom there. And I'm just putting a little bit of soil in the bottom. If you remember the last one or you want to go back in my videos and see the first pepper in a can. I only fill it about that full, assuming that I could fill it in as the plant grew. But they're not like tomatoes where you can do that. They Peppers don't do that readily. So... That would not work. Plus the apocalypse scorpion that I planted never actually came up. All right, so I've packed that down a little bit, not too much. And I've got my water here and I am using my supercharged garden elixir. I put 15 drops of this into one liter of the reverse osmosis water and I'll just get it somewhat moist there we go we don't need a lot so every layer or so is getting some of this supercharged garden elixir effied water all right, so there's Death Spiral. Here's Lemon Starburst. And combination of the two. And the stipulations of the contest are that they be planted in the can. You can soak them beforehand, which obviously I have not done. So I will be sowing them directly into the can. So I will need to choose the best looking of the two starbursts here and the best looking of the death spiral all right on the death spiral i'm gonna go with these two right down there so i will put those guys back in plant these about a quarter of an inch so you can see up to that white knob there so I'm just gonna poke a hole there all right death spiral will be on this side and lemon starburst will be on this side then over here in the middle lemon starburst all righty now death spiral and death spiral and then the starburst here. They all look pretty good. I'll just go with those two right there. Alrighty. Lemon starburst. And lemon starburst. Now... Take the 
full strength of this and one drop on each of the seeds there we go and now just cover them up a little bit go all right now what I've seen others do is put a bottle over the top of these so I'm going to cut the bottom off and have a cap on there and just slip it over top and we'll see how that goes looks like it'll work and that's to keep the moisture in. Wonder. Just wonder. It's possible to put it in. Will they fit in there? Ooh. Got an idea. Be right back. Alright, so I've only cut it about three quarters of the way. attempt to get this in here without spilling it everywhere, which could be a feat for me. Ah, there we go. Alright, I was wondering how I'd keep them upright. Ship in a bottle, in this case can in a bottle. Second one. And the third one. Alrighty, there we go. All three cans. There we go. Alright, now where to put them? I think I'll stick them up there with my new banana plant. All right, here we go. Got them up top where traditionally I've kept the gauge up here. And it is 77-ish degrees with 37 or so percent humidity. It'll be higher in there. And I'll check on them every couple of days. 